Okay, now, before I start copying this, I just wanted to tell you about these loops. Now, obviously I've gone through and I've made a list of the loops that I'm gonna use for this song. They have to match. Like, if we went with something else, like let's say, you know, we've got this little beat here. Let me go um, add some something weird to it that just is not going to, like this. Yeah, see, if, if I have that come onto this song, you're gonna realize they don't match well together. I mean, where does that come from? It just doesn't match at all. Let me just delete that whole track. So as you're going, you're gonna kind of feel it too. You're gonna to listen to it and go, oh boy, did that ever go off in a new direction? So you want everything to kind of blend together and sound nice together. Okay, so uh, we have our, I'm just zooming out just so I can see my, my tracks a little bit easier here. I want to copy this. I'm gonna tap on it twice and I'm going to copy that little uh, four measures of a beat. And then I'm gonna skip Let's say, let's skip two measures, tap in the blank area right here on this track, I'm gonna paste. You wanna paste it in the same track. Since this is the same beat, I can paste it in the track. So I'm just gonna move things around a little bit. So maybe skip four, and then I'm gonna paste it there, and then uh, skip four again. Again, we just wanna add, mix it up a little bit, and then this time I'm just gonna skip two, and then paste it, skip four again. Oops, there we go. And I'm just working my way towards the end of the song. Uh, just kind of adding variety, uh, paste, and then it looks like I'm going to, uh, I have a little bit of an uh, empty spot at the, the, at the end here, which we'll fill in in just a moment. Okay, so let's now go add another beat to our song to add variety. So I'm going to go to loops. Uh, let's get back into the, the conga here because I want to stay in the same basic groove that's going on. And this time I want the um, the Cuban timba uh, one here let's yeah i love that one okay so i'm going to drag that i'm going to start that in that little piece that was missing and then of course shorten that so let me just grab that oops opened up the let's just close that there we go grab that little back edge ah, i did it again come on close that Let's just see if I can really do it this time. There we go. And take that to that one little two right there. You see that? So I'm gonna, again, double tap on it so I can get to copy. Move my little playhead. This is the playhead up here. Anywhere up here where the timeline is, I can move it to wherever I want it. I'm gonna paste it everywhere where I got a little hole there for two. And I'm gonna paste it here at the end. And then I can extend that. Oops. Let me just zoom in on that so I can really extend it there all the way to the end. Okay, so that's going to go to the last of the song. Okay, um, now I need to, let me just move the playhead here to this opening where I have four measures. I'm going to paste it into there. But I need to, of course, make it a little bit um, bigger. Let me zoom in on it so I can, sometimes if you don't see the little loop guy, you have to zoom in on it. And there we go. And same thing here. Let's paste it into there and loop that so it, oops. So it fits perfectly. Here are the same thing. Ooh, okay, almost done. Move our playhead and let's paste that. Okay, there we go. So now if I zoom out, look how this is starting to look like a song. We have variety in our beat. So we go from one beat to the other beat and we have our opening of our song. In the next video, we're gonna come back and add some more instruments to add some consistency to our song.